sure you're okay with all that? Uh, it's so nice of you to ask now that we're already here. I know you don't mind being my study snack Sherpa, because I'm gonna help you come up with a killer theme for the dance. After exams are done, we'll need one. You know, this theme needs to be spectacular, like a once-in-a-lifetime type of event. So long as you're not setting yourself up for disappointment. I'm kidding, Holly J. I've been to cotillions and balls all over the world. I can do spectacular. Great. First we study, then we plan. Here she is. Fiona. Hi. It has been so long. Yeah, not yeah. since that spring gala at the Met. That's right. So, sure, don't mean to be rude, but... Why has a family lawyer flown in all the way from Manhattan to see you? Uh, Fiona, the case against Bobby is moving ahead to trial. And the court needs to hear a deposition about the assault. It's not bad enough. I have to go through it once. I have to go through it again. I mean, isn't there some way around this? Well, uh, the only way to avoid it would be to drop the charges altogether. Which is out of the question. Right, Fiona? Right. <laughs> well, I guess I better start shopping for my deposition outfit. between the two. Take me seriously, I'm in all black, or look at me, little Miss Innocent. You do not have to look innocent. You are not on trial. Bobby is. Good point, Mom. Black it is. What's that? Uh, that's Bobby's deposition on video. It's something that you do not need to see. Good. At first. She was very vulnerable, and I wanted to help her. You wanted to help my client? She needed it. <laughs> when she wasn't threatening to throw herself off rooftops, she was flinging herself downstairs. I mean, she was unstable, erratic, plagued with demons. I, I felt sorry for her. Dude, wait till you hear what I have planned for guys' night. Don't you need guys for that? Okay. Anyway, guess what I ordered for us on pay-per-view. I don't do that with other guys. Don't be gross, Eli. I ordered a mixed martial arts madness. Bad news, I, I have to bail on guys' night. Are you serious? What about your brother? Maybe he can join you. I'm terribly from Allie. Why do guys always ditch their friends the second they get a new girlfriend? So lame. Look, I'm only bailing because I have to study. Rain check? Guess I'll just have to get my Neanderthal on by myself. Thanks. I feel good, Dr. Sandler. Are you taking a lot of notes or am I crazier than normal? It means there's a lot going on with you and I need to keep track. Well, you haven't heard the big crazy making thing yet. I have to give my testimony against Bobby. That is serious. Reliving a violent event can be as traumatic as experiencing it the first time. Yeah, but I can handle it. I mean, I'm in a good place. Ow. Um, Fiona, I think now is the time to discuss alternative strategies to help manage your anxiety. Like medication? There is an anti-anxiety drug I've had great results with. Take it when you need it to feel more self-assured. Great. It's official. I'm crazy. So you think taking medication for a medical condition makes you crazy? Doesn't everybody? Oh, uh, you need to get to school. 
Um, just take this and follow the directions. Look, the only thing that matters is that you have the tools you need to deal with the stress in your life. See you next week. I had a great time last night. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> Hope there's a sequel. Count on it. Hi. Looks like your date with Zane went well. I actually managed not to screw it up. So, when's the big coming out party? Next night on the Omnin okay, okay. Why are you being so secretive? You bought a date with Zane at the bachelor auction. Everybody's already speculating. Well, let them. I won't confirm or deny until after football season. Why wait? Because I want to win. If I come out, it'll be big drama. Team will lose focus. We'll lose. So when the season's over? <laughs> it'll be Pride Day. But I need to go big so Zane knows it's for real. Well, nothing says real like being crowned king and king. That's big. All right, let's hear those ideas, girls. Well, I was thinking we should review all the dances we've held at Degrassi and itemize what we liked. Okay, so more of the same. More of the best. Yeah, no, we need, you know, fresh. We need hot. Well, the hottest dance I've ever been to is called A Night in Monaco. Guys in tuxes, girls in cocktail dresses. The walls draped in red velvet, roulette tables everywhere. Well, gambling in school. All the money went in the school's kitty for social events. And we raised buckets of cash. You had me at buckets of cash. <laughs> oh, that's uh, study period. I gotta hit the books later, girls. <laughs> what, theme too much? Try, I'm blown away. I think we can really make our mark with this one. <laughs> oh, speaking of study period, I am headed for a big fat B on Bruno's exam. Weird. What's this? Oh, just something my therapist gave me to help deal with the deposition. And you're using it as a bookmark? If I need it, I'll fill it. Hey, I thought you were studying. Yeah, uh, yeah, I am. I mean, um, we are. Claire and I just wanted some one-on-one -on -one time to study. So what, are you two, like, in love now or something? Adam, we're just friends. Yeah. And you don't want me around, because I'm the third wheel. Guys, don't do this to each other, Eli. Dude, I'm sorry. Whatever, don't want to ruin your little date. Sherman said this will just be a dry run, but he wanted you to be prepared for a hard line of questioning. I'll be fine, Mom. I'm fine. I see those little worry lines. Maybe I'm a tiny bit nervous. You didn't fill your prescription. I can deal. I'm just going to take it in just a minute. Mom. All right. We're all set. Huh? Let's get started. You bet. Fire when ready, Sherm. You okay? <clears throat> Ms. Coyne, where on your body did my client come in contact with you? Probably did more than come in contact with me. He hit me. So you allege that these points of contact later showed bruising? Yes, he gave me a black eye. Are you currently in the care of a psychiatrist. Is that what you want? To get the crazy one again? Ms. Coyne, 
do you see a psychiatrist? You're not crazy, you're a liar. Fiona, these are the kinds of questions that Bobby's lawyer will ask. I see a therapist, yes. I don't really see what that has to do with anything. Goes to credibility. My client has characterized you as unstable and erratic. How do you respond to that? Get back here! Ooh. I have to pee. Oh, oh. oh sweetie. I... Sweetheart, are you all right? Just between this and exams and planning a school event, I'm just really tired. That'll be enough for today. Fiona. Hey. Hey. How'd it go yesterday? Bad news is they're putting my sanity on trial. Good news is I destroyed the ugliest lamp. Am I supposed to see a connection? Never mind. Hey. You don't want to lose this. What are you doing? I'm upping my credibility. By throwing out your prescription? I'm fine, Holly J. But I could really use some good news right now. How's the dance coming? It's great. It's really good. Never better. I don't know what happened. Simpson's concerned the theme isn't parent-friendly, but he's giving us a chance to pitch the PTA today. Well, that's great. I can totally help. Meet me at lunch and uh, bring your brainstorming cap. I have one in every color. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm uh, saving this seat for royalty. I know what you did. Boldest move ever. That's me, bold. Come here. Hey, easy, dude. No PDA policy still in effect. <laughs> I don't get it. I can't hug you in public, but you outed us online. I did what online? I didn't know it was going online. They gotta take that down. But the whole school's seen it. You're out, man. Riley, it'll be okay. Are you nuts? The whole team's gonna be flipping out at the game. Okay, today is exam prep. I hope you've all brought some questions and problem areas to review. Look like you're lost. Just trying to find a new place. Seriously? Free country. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I'm over it if you are. What happened? You two getting a lover's quarrel at guys' night? There was no guys' night. He bailed. Probably blinded himself with too much guy liner. Yeah, probably listened to emo and got all emotional. <laughs> Clever, guys. Another stunning display of verbal acuity. Another stunning display of verbal acuity. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, so Simpson said the PTA might have this knee-jerk reaction to gambling. Which is why I found examples of other high school casino nights that raised a ton of money for their school with no incidents. Fiona, this is amazing. I think this might just put us over. Oh. No way. No way, Simpson wants to move the pitch up sooner. I can't believe this. Well, I thought you were getting off work early. Not early enough. I can do it. Well, you'd have to start without me. Ladies and gentlemen of the PTA, Gambling is all about probability, which is an element of mathematics. You could say it's educational. Wow. That's good. Thanks. Adam, pull up. Adam. What do you want? Look, I know you were stoked about Guy's name. I shouldn't have bailed. OK. Thanks. So, uh, what are you doing tonight? There's another fight tonight? on. I'm seeing Claire. But I can call you after. I don't want your pity. Wait, don't be such a girl. 
I didn't mean like that. Yeah, whatever, man. I have other people to hang with. Like Fitz? He's not your friend, dude. Really? Yet I don't remember him rejecting me for his girlfriend. Yeah, because most girls are smart enough to avoid him. So you're jealous and paranoid now. You know what? I do pity you. You're making a huge mistake. Working hard on your pitch? I hope you're not neglecting your studies. I just need to sell this gambling theme to the PTA. Oh, just give him a little coin family razzle-dazzle. Anyway, what do you think? Suits the decor better, if you ask me. Whatever, can I just focus on this? Holly Jail will lose her mind if I screw up in front of the PTA. Compared to all these lawyers, it'll be a breeze. I'm taking this in to be pressed. Like I always say, the right outfit makes all the difference. Thanks, Mom. I'll see you later. Riley and Zane, kings of the dance. You think? The cat's in the bag, and the cat is gay. Just leave it alone, okay? Who cares? Check it out. Straight up, do you like dudes? Yes, I do. Oh, One in particular. Well, somebody owes me money. I had 10 bucks on this. <laughs> <laughs> Guys! Guys! Hey! Hey! This is our last game! We need a focus! Let's end strong and win this one! You with me? Let's do this! Yeah! <laughs> Let's get started, oh, Captain, my Captain. Um, where's Holly J? Oh, she, um, has a thing. Ladies and gentlemen of the PTA, I know our concept is controversial, but I want to give you a feel for what this dance is really about. As they say, the right outfit makes all the difference. Glitz, glam, and gambling all for a good cause at Degrassi's A Night in Vegas. <sighs> um, hmm. uh, thank you, Fiona. Uh, but it's, um... I'm here. What's going on? I'm just warming them up for you. And they're loving it. Loving it. Wow, um, I'm sorry, now that Fiona has painted a picture, I'd like to talk through some of the convincing reasons why you'll want to approve Degrassi's A Night in Vegas. Riley. Hey, coach. This is Matt Barnes. He's a scout for Eastern. Eastern? The tier one team? Coach tells me you're looking to play some college ball. Mr. Armstrong is an old friend of mine. Coach says he has a prospect to show me I'm there. 
You came to scout me? You didn't disappoint. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about your future. See if we can make Eastern a big part of it. Are you free tomorrow? Yeah, of course. What? This is unbelievable. You just got scouted for a huge team. You'll have thousands of fans screaming your name. Until they find out I'm gay. Where did you even find that dress? I wore it to casino night at my last school. Everybody loved it, especially the guys. Have you been drinking? Don't lie. So a little bubbly was imbibed. But hey, we did great. We? No, there was no we. I tried to save the pitch. They're out there talking about how hopeless it is. I'm under so much pressure, Holly J. I'm barely holding on. Right, so instead of taking medication prescribed by a doctor, you're self-medicating with alcohol. I know it works for me. Well, Holly J, you were terrific. And Fiona, you were... Memorable. So it looks like Degrassi's Night in Vegas is a go. <laughs> yep. Cool. I can't believe it. Like I said, I know it works for me. Whatever it takes. I know I can make it through And if I hold out I know I can make it through I know I, I know I can make it through